everybody, welcome into Rock Painting 101. I have another fun animal rock painting tutorial for you today. This is a viewer request, a Boston Terrier. Somebody left this in one of the comments of a video that it was something they would like a tutorial on. So I've broken this down so even the very beginning rock painters can create this cute, adorable rock. So if you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up. If there's something you would like to see a tutorial on, leave it in the comments below. And of course, don't forget to subscribe. So you know how much I love doing animal rocks, simple, easy to follow animal rock painting. So today's Boston Terrier is just the same. We are going to use all black and white pens. You could do this with a brush and paint, but it would be a little bit maybe tricky. I don't know. I just, for this design, pens just seem like probably the way to go here. Um, so I'm gonna just take my 1M and I'm gonna kind of sketch out my basic shape. Um, as always, I've got my doodle up here. I do not ever go straight to a rock without at least trying to draw it on a piece of paper first. So I'm just gonna put out my basic shapes and structure, and then I'll start blocking in some of the colors. So uh, this one's classic, so it's just gonna be black and white and kind of a cartoonish style one. This was requested by somebody on one of the videos before. So I'm gonna go right at the beginning and put my nose down, because my entire dog is going to revolve around where his nose kind of is and then we're going to give him his head and they kind of have like a boxier jawline so we're going to start here at the bottom and this is just sketching all of this can be painted over with our other colors as we're developing the dog but we're just going to start by a jawline here and now i've got a, already his head cocked a little bit to the side but that's okay that'll probably turn out kind of cute so we're going to come, come up. They have a decent sized forehead. It almost looks like a slice of bread at this point in time. So we've got that on there. Now their forehead, they've got this white patch sometimes here above the nose. We're going to block that in like so. We're going to give them really big eyes. And we're going to save that spot so we don't fill that in with the black. I always try to avoid putting black down where I need to put white. If I put white where I need black, that's not as big of a deal. So then we're going to cut the bottom half. So it almost looks like an hourglass shape here um, with his nose in the middle. And then we're gonna have his mouth kind of come up and through right there. And then their bodies are kind of boxier too. They've got these wider shoulders. We're just gonna have his arms come down. I know this kind of looks a little silly right now, but as we start blocking in the colors, it'll look a little bit better. So we got that. Um, you can do paws really easy in the front, just a couple arches like so. And we'll have his body kind of come back here straight behind him. And we need ears, of course. Point to your ears. Like so. So we're kind of getting close. I feel like his head is a little too skinny this way. So that's why we block out our shapes. You can make adjustments. I'm gonna kind of pull it to the side a little bit more on each side, okay? So we've got our basic shapes down. I'm gonna start by coloring in some of him. I'm gonna go up a size in 10 so it doesn't take me forever. All right, so. We're gonna go around our eyes with black. And I didn't block out his body. We're gonna leave a white part on his chest here, like that. That will stay white and the rest of this will be black. Oh, I might be getting to the end of one of my pens. You guys, I replace my pens so infrequently. And this will be my first 3M that I've had to replace. The only other ones I've replaced are my 1M black and whites because I use them for lettering a lot. I might have to move to my, and you can tell the sound of the shake there that there's really not a lot in there. It'll be enough to finish this up though. I'm just gonna go here. I'm gonna keep his toes white just so that they stand out a little bit. Okay. Clean up edges with our 1M when we're done, and then I'm going to do black around these eyes. So I might speed portions of this coloring in process, 
just so this isn't a super long tutorial since he's pretty straightforward once you've got his shapes. So I just dotted for his little paws in there so we keep a little bit of that black outline. And then I'm also gonna just use my larger pen here. Always check your white. If you've got any other color on there, it's really gonna mess up your design. So go right in here and go really big white eyes. Like so. And I pulled a little bit of black into his mouth area there, so. We're just gonna have to let that dry and we'll give that a second coat. Now I need a little bit of a light pink color for like inside his ears. And maybe we'll even have his little tongue stick out. If you do not have a pale pink, you can grab acrylics just as easily. This isn't gonna be very much space. Just a little pink in the ear area there. And uh, man, I don't think I want to give him that. I was thinking about giving him a little fun, but I don't think I will. I am going to take my white and give a little bit more of this white. That way his nose pops a little bit. So we're going to go white around his nose a little. There we go. Now he's really starting to look like a bust interior, isn't he? All right, so we're going to let this coat of white dry. And we're gonna add a second coat of white on top of it. We also need to do the blacks of his eyes. I feel like his eyes are a little high. So I'm gonna pull them a little lower. We're gonna give him even bigger eyes by pulling them a little lower. I can always take away some of the top. It's easy to put black on top of white when it's dry. There we go, I like that better. So we gotta let these whites dry so we can give them nice big black pupils in there. We'll do a second coat on his face as well. And then you can also take, once you've got it all filled in, you can come in with your 1M black and kind of clean up your outline a little bit. Sometimes when you're filling in with a wider pen or even brush, you can end up going over edges or leaving little sloppy spots that are real easy to come in and fix with a small pen like so. So we're just gonna kind of wait out this white and we'll finish him up. And I want that white outline on the nose, but I don't want it to be that thick. I just wanted enough that you could see the nose. So we're gonna take the black and pull it just out to that edge. more white on that side because it got a little uneven on me. Okay, we're gonna let this dry just another minute and then we'll finish them up. All right, my eye whites are nice and dry so I'm gonna go in with my black and I'm gonna give them nice big pupils here. Look at these really big eyes. And you definitely want to make sure your white is dry before you do this. Otherwise, you're going to end up with gray, which you really don't want. And I also went in and added a little bit more pink out to the edges because their ears kind of tend to go out. So I wanted to give that appearance. So I just added a little more pink on the outside edge of both of those. So we've got to let this black area dry just a smidge. And then we'll add in our highlights. One last little thing you can do if you want. Um, as they get older, they do get their little whiskers and things like that. You can add a little bit of like whiskery stuff along their face, their snout area, like here, a little bit. Okay, and then we're just waiting for those eyes to dry. These pens dry super fast. Make sure your white is very white. Again, see, look at, I don't know if you can see that in my off screen. Um, I have a little bit of black in my white, so I wanna make sure my white is white white for this highlight. And this paper I have has a little bit of a blue tint to it. I did that on purpose so you guys could see my white, hopefully, a little bit better. All right, so this right eye is finished. I can see that, so I'm gonna go ahead and add my little highlight there. 
this left one I see just a smidge of black and you do not want to do it when the black is wet because you'll have a gray highlight and you don't want that. So I'm just going to wait it out a little bit here. And there we go. Now you can go back and do any final touches you want, any outline final touches you want. I feel like his lip got a little bit big. You kind of want this to to be a little darker in here. My uh, original design had that a little bit higher up, like so. I've never had a Boston Terrier, so hopefully whoever requested this one enjoys this tutorial. So. There he is, super cute. Like I said, pretty easy once you know how to block out the shapes to do. Of course, I'm gonna fine tune a few things here and there. But I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Make sure to check out the rest of our Animal Rock playlist. We've got lots of fun and easy rocks for beginners. I'll make sure to link to that here at the end. And subscribe so you don't miss any of our fun tutorials as they're new.